Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be sharing how you can write the perfect VSL for your business and your office. So let's get right into it. Now, the ultimate goal of the VSL is pretty simple. It should create the following epiphanies in your prospect. This is what I've been missing out on. This is what I need to get me to my goal. I realize why everything I've tried in the past has failed and why this is going to be different. I can see that this is a no-brainer and that this clearly works. If we can answer all these questions, you have won. Okay, so let's go through that and at the end of this video, I'm going to be taking you through a few key points to really tie this all together that um, will help you write this uh, pretty easily. So the VSL framework is quite straightforward. So firstly, we want to call out the audience. This should be done on both ads and your video sales letter. If you haven't seen my ad breakdown, it will be in the description below the link to that video. Next is demand the attention. This is done by having an irresistible offer, something that makes them think, holy shit. Now, thirdly, we need to shine a light on the problem. How does your audience feel? Tell a story about the problem or a struggle and explain in detail how they must feel about the problem that they actually have. They need to be left thinking, oh, yeah, this guy gets me. This is exactly how I feel. It's important to remember people are more likely to move away from pain than move towards pleasure. Talk about and describe why what you have will actually work for them. Number four is a simple call to action. This is just for the low hanging fruit. Uh, number five is provide the solution. Reveal the solution you have to their problems and talk about how it's different from everything else they've done and failed with. This is really important. Why are you the best and why is this different? They should have that epiphany like, holy shit, where has this been all my life? Why does this method work? Number six is credentials. Now, obviously at this point, they're gonna be skeptical. You've made a bold claim. So if you have results, show them, name drop people you've worked with, how many clients have you worked with, etc. If you don't have this, just tell a story about why they should trust you. Number seven is the benefits. People care about their problems being solved, right? They don't care about how or the small details or even about you. If they think you can solve their issue, you're going to get paid. Number eight is more social proof. If you have it, great. If not, no stress. Use third-party data to build authority, statistics, other companies following the strategy, quotes, or something from other authority figures, right? Please just don't steal or copy and paste. I think that's a given. Number nine is your clear offer. Keep it simple, short, has to be easy to read, understand, and uh, they have to understand what you're saying. Right? There should be no question as to what they're getting in return. It has to be so good they can't say no to, and if they do, they're gonna feel stupid. You really wanna link your solution and name it to the results you've got for clients, and that's exactly how we got results for X, name who went from X to Y. Number 10 is a simple call to action. This is usually a book call using the link below and you're pitching a phone call, not the sale. That's really important to remember. Now, the only change that may happen here is if you've got one to four results to show, it's better to do this in the beginning, right? Um, and number six, and if you've got more than that, you can do some at number six and then you can do some, some at number eight so you can split it. Let me show an example of what this looks like. Call out your audience. This should be done on both the ads and VSL. Now you can also do a DSL and I'm happy to do a video on that. It's pretty much this exact same format but in a slideshow presentation and it works really, really well. If you're a real estate agent doing above 150,000 per year in GCI, number two, demand attention. This is done by having an irresistible offer then we will generate you an extra one to two listings per month starting tomorrow using our FRR system guaranteed or you get a full refund plus a thousand dollars. That's right, if we don't generate you an extra one to two listings for your business every single month, you don't pay and on top of that, I'm gonna send you a thousand dollars for wasting your time. Next is results. Over the past 18 months, we've helped agents add an additional 176,000 in GCI per year on average to their business by implementing the FRR system. Steve was able to get his first listing within 22 days of working with us. Shady was able to get two listings within 30 days, which generated him $46,000 in GCI. Now, for those who don't know, GCI means gross commission income. While Paresh was able to get his first listing within 14 days of implementing the FRR system into his business. And Tom was able to get three times the amount of appraisals within the first 60 days of working together, which resulted in getting two new listings. 
Now, shine a light on the problem. How does your audience feel? Tell a story about the problem, like I mentioned before, right? And explain why they failed or got no results. Now, if you're a real estate agent or boutique agency owner, you're probably spending 20 to 30 hours per week prospecting, doing your cold calls, letterbox drops, and relying on word of mouth. Look, these methods work, but you're probably seeing little to no return compared to the amount of time and effort you put into it. You rely on platforms like realestate.com.au and Domain. Now, these are obviously specific for the Australian market. If you're in the US and you do real estate, you're looking at Realtor.com, Zillow, Home Advisor, um, and these sort of websites, which can be incredibly frustrating with the absorbent fees you pay them. You're essentially a slave to these platforms when you want to have your own standalone brand and be recognized as the number one agent in your local area. And you want a system that you own to generate you quality appraisal lead that then will turn into listings. You've probably tried it all. Rate my agent, REA marketing, agent box, and maybe even some local marketing agency that promised you leads and seen absolutely no results. Now, this is where the first call to action comes in. This is why if we don't generate you one to two listings per month, we don't deserve your money and you're going to get a full refund. So if that sounds like something that you want for your business, then click the button below and we can schedule a call together. Next is obviously we want to provide a solution. Now, whether you've been an agent for one year or 23 years, it doesn't matter. You're constantly competing with other agents in your area for that listing and chances are the one that wins the vendor over is probably the one that has solidified themselves as the local expert and how much is that costing you each month? Now, you notice the word vendor here. In Australia, we use this term for homeowners. Vendor. Real estate agents don't say homeowners, they say vendor. Now, this is also an important key piece. When you're pitching, when you're uh, speaking to agents, when you're speaking to anyone in your specific niche, you need to understand the terminology that they use, right? We're not going to say that wins the homeowner is probably the one blah, 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 blah. Maybe in the US, but in the Australian market, you must, you should say vendor, right? Because it just shows that you know the terminology and you know how real estate agents speak, okay? So it's little details like that that do matter. So <clears throat> whatever the number is, you can agree it's a lot. What the FRR system does is not only will generate you new listings, but it will help you become the authority in your marketplace. So when a vendor is thinking of selling, the only name on their mind is yours. You see, I'm not just talking about the pain points of listings. I'm also talking about making sure that they become an authority figure, the long-term play. We do this by positioning you as the agent of trust and have vendors coming to you rather than you spending multiple hours per day making your calls, sending your emails, walking the streets, doing your letterbox drops, and constantly relying on sites like REA or Domain to market not only yourself, but your properties. And this is key here too, because the real estate agents hate REA and Domain. It's like Zillow or Realtor.com right? Real estate agents hate those platforms, but they must use it because they've, they've got market share. So by implementing the done for you FRR system, you will own your traffic, your online presence, and have complete independence from the platforms that control your every move while being able to turn on the tap on and off when you want to find new vendors who want to list their property. You can focus on what you should be doing, speaking with vendors, negotiating and listing properties, and leave the prospecting to us. Again, social credentials. We have helped 27 agents over the past 18 months add an additional, on average, 176,000 in GCI to their business, all completely done for them using the proven FRR system. Tim was able to get an additional 100K in GCI to his business within the first six months of working to us. Within the first six months of working with us. Well, John had to hire a PA to handle the influx of inquiries he was getting each month. Number eight, clear offer. So if you want to become an authority in your marketplace and stop spending hours every single day for little to no results prospecting, then we're going to guarantee you one to two new listings each month and every month guaranteed or you get a full refund. Call to action. Sounds interesting to you? Then fill in your details below, book a call, and remember, if we don't generate you one to two new listings each month, then you don't pay. It's really that simple. And you probably don't have to make it that long. Um, it can be 
actually a little bit shorter. Uh, but you can also do this in DSL format, which is just a deck sales letter instead of a video sales letter, something like Google Slides or PowerPoint or something. And it's pretty much the exact same thing. And it works really, really well. Um, I haven't got the stats uh, with testing it myself, but from other people that I've spoken to, uh, the DSL is performing sometimes in, in some niches better than a VSL. Now, the overview of the six questions to answer in any VSL, and this is in order, right? Use this as a mental model to review your own work. Have all these questions, have you answered all these questions to the best of your ability? How is this different to everything else that I've seen? What's in it for me, right? What's in it for the prospect? How do I know that this is real? What's holding me back? And how does it work? And what do I have to lose? If you can answer these six questions in your VSL, it will bring you money. Now, the VSL is something that, look, while it may be simple, while it may be straightforward, takes a lot of testing. Every single word that you say matters. And how you say it actually matters more than what you say. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do want this, comment VSL down below and I'll um, send you the link. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.